Hi guys, so today we're going to draw and paint a flamingo. I'll be using watercolor, but you can use whatever medium you'd like. Here I'm mixing red and white together to make a lighter pink, and then I'm going to be spreading that throughout the flamingo. I want to make sure that the color is light because I'll be adding darker tones to it after it's dry. Here I'm taking just regular blue, a very light blue, to add to the background because I'll also be building up on that. I'm adding some green to the bottom for bushes and I will be adding some green throughout the background including on the top and sides just to make it look like more vegetation. Now this is a very light green. I'm also going to be building on top of that green with darker colors because watercolor you have to work light to dark. If you're using acrylic or a gouache, you can use the darker ones first if you'd like because you're painting over it. Have fun with the vegetation. Just be creative with it. You don't have to get it exactly like mine. I'm just using some vines and some bushes to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. So here I've just taken the same red. You can experiment with this. I just basically took a lot of the light red and used a lot of water so that it's a little bit darker. I'm also applying it to the beak because the beaks on flamingos are pink and black, and I'll be adding the black later. Feel free to look at pictures for reference. Whenever I'm painting something, if it's a real animal or a person, I'll always look at reference for the right proportions on the body and face. And here just adding some black watercolor. I'll actually go over with a darker black. This is added with a lot of water. Kind of just testing out where I want the dark black to be. Once that's dried, I've gone on to the pink legs and I've been adding the uh, darker pink to certain areas. And just adding in a little bit more red to the top of the tail part there. I didn't want it to be so black, I wanted it to be more darker red. Using a pen for the eye because the eye is rather small on my drawing. And that's it guys! I hope you enjoyed this art tutorial and I hope you painted along with me. I'd love to see your work, so if you'd like to post a link, I would appreciate it. Thanks! <laughs>